the Olympic Games without an opening ceremony full of local talent. Over to you, Barry. You've heard of Britain's Got Talent, you've seen the show, right? This is Barnsley's Got Talent. We're going to send some acts in. We want you to judge them. We need one winner overall today. Uh, we've got the, we've been using these all week. If you like them at the end, you can give them a tick. If you don't like them, you can give them a soggy Yorkshire pudding. All right? Now that our judging panel are ready and raring to go, it's time to bring in our first act. Oh, and it's worth mentioning that we've put together the worst bunch of talent you are ever likely to see. Up first, an escapologist. Start when you're ready. This isn't my jacket. I think your time's up. Do you want to stand on your, your spot? Well, you can lay on your spot if you prefer. <laughs> hey, Blanche. After that shambolic performance, will the guys realise this is all a wind-up? Or will they believe it and offer our rubbish acts some constructive criticism? Well, I think the problem was, we tried to... <laughs> we tried to <laughs> do it, but you couldn't. And you <laughs> just seemed to roll on the floor. <laughs> You showed no actual effort to get out of the No effort? <laughs> Pretty weird. I can honestly say I've never seen anything like that before. That's in a bad way, by the way, so I'm going to have to say no. So, no for me. So, no for me. No way. That's three no's from our judges, but at least they think this is a real talent show. Will they believe the rest of our performers are genuine, or will they suspect foul play? Bring on the tea gargler. In Yorkshire, we like tea, don't we? So I thought I could do a bit of gargling with tea. Oh, sorry, I swallowed that bit. It's nice tea, isn't it? Hang on. I think most people would be able to do that, and possibly a bit better, so it's a no for me. Sorry. Oh. It's a no for me. I found that very, very disturbing. It's down to one final act to win the kids over, and we know just the guys for the job. Right, so we're just about to go inside and perform on Barnes Got Talent, and uh, that's Sam in there, by the way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, come on, let's do it. They don't seem to have spotted us so far, but surely with moves and costumes this bad, it's only a matter of time before they smell a rat. Yeah, a big tutu wearing ballet rat. Yeah. That's enough. No Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, it was funny in a strange kind of way. I'm sorry, but it's a no for me. The tutu falling off has to be the funniest bit. Because of your mistake, it's a yes. So very lucky about the mistake. I love the brown one. I absolutely love you. You are fantastic at ballet, I have to say. But the white one, you were a bit naff. But it was pretty funny with the tutu. So I'm gonna, but I'm going to go with yes, because it was just so funny. Well done. That's two yeses out of three result. So that concludes the talent show, but instead of suspecting this might be a wind-up, our judges actually think that one of the acts deserves the chance to represent Barnsley. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's the mice. I just love them. Oh, mice. Yeah, but I don't want the mice, though, because I just... But while they argue over their decision, the town's Olympic bid has been gathering pace. So let's interrupt the judges with a totally fake live news bulletin. And someone's in for a shock when they discover the world's biggest event will literally be taking place on their doorstep. Apparently there's a news link now. It's now time for an update on our main story today, the Barnsley Olympic bid. We've already seen in our earlier live links how the bid is gathering momentum, and it's now thought to be the favourite to host the yes. 2028 Games. Yeah, that's cool. We can now go live to our reporter, Rachel Bullen, who's found a street where locals are already cashing in on the Olympics. Olympic fever has certainly taken hold of Barnsley. That's my house. Oh, my God. Residents in this street have been offered big money by Olympic officials to move out of their houses so that work can begin on a new Olympic site. They are going into my house. <laughs> Even though Barnsley's bid may come to nothing, a deal has been done for one house with the owner agreeing to sell up and move out. 
As you can see, the clear-outs have started. That's my picture! And I have the owner here with me now. So, Caroline, what prompted you to move? Definitely the money. So I can take it you're behind the Barnsley Olympic bid then? Oh yeah, it'd be great for the community and Barnsley itself. Rachel Bullen reporting on our main story of the day. Barnsley 2028, games that could be great or race. That was my flat. That was my flat. Because I know what my house... That they were taking my Union Jack and my TMI stuff out of my room. Yes, but did you hear what the woman said? That she sold the house. My mum is not selling our house. This is a con. This is a con. No, this has got to be I don't believe this. Why? Because my mum would not say that. That is my house. Yes, but your mum left earlier. Yeah, to look after the dog. Maybe she left to sell the house. But don't worry about it. It's not important. It is.